We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We'll fight on the beaches, we shall fight in the fields, and in the streets. We shall never surrender. without a doubt, the outstanding RAF fighter leader of World War II. As the war progressed and he became more successful, um, you know, with shooting down the number of aircraft, his own colleagues, and this was uh, uh, commented on by Johnny Johnson in his book, uh, A Glorious Summer, Yes, that uh, Sailor Malone was a far better pilot than, than Johnny Johnson, even though Johnny Johnson was recorded as shooting down the most aircraft. Mm. If you read the British newspapers about Sailor Milan being the sort of pilot who could hit a spot on the wall, on the Great Wall of China at a thousand yards, the British press, they liken Milan to the boot commanders of the anglo boot War. I mean, I remember only one thing about him when we were going off to maybe to try and shoot a Springbok, I think. Mm. He's saying to me that he never shot a springbok because it, when it was standing still, he thought that was unfair. <laughs> and it just was a, a demonstration of his skill. Yes, yes. He was the leading uh, fighter ace in the RAF. To be an ace, you've got to destroy five aircraft. He destroyed 27. The thing that sets Sailor Milan into a totally different league is what happened when he went home. Uh, and over there, he, he, he became involved in um, ex-servicemen's politics, the Torch Commando, which was about opposing the police state and apartheid, uh, and it was about civil rights, you know. Now, now this is quite an incredible thing. They saw in the Nationalists something like the enemy they had just fought and defeated. This guy is a free thinker and he has fought five years um, against oppression and, and terror and genocide and, and, a, and, and a regime, the Nazis, that was entirely based on race. You know, so he'd gone back to South Africa and there's all this dreadful apartheid business happening and he galvanized the torch commando into action and caused an awful lot of trouble uh, and to me that is incredible what a brave thing to do